Well then, ladies and gentlemen, this will be scripted as freestyling didn't really work out here because it is a lot to say in the first place, so please bear with me here. I've been keeping this one in for quite a bit now, not seeing any reason to announce it yet, but 300 videos in nearly 5 years on YouTube is somewhat of a big milestone. I've mentioned earlier in my birthday video that I'm using YouTube more or less as a library of great moments and if people enjoyed watching my videos and liked them, that's great. I never really was aiming for any kind of entertainment because I always thought that I'd not succeed in doing so, especially with videos. Well, I have a lot of great friends now that I'm pleased to entertain every day and why not start here on YouTube as well. My recent videos have been aiming towards making funny compilations as I still love TF2 and I probably won't stop until I've reached the maximum tier in casual, a goal that I've set and that will take a while to achieve to ensure that I won't get off so quick. I'm not really happy with the way the videos are yet, we are really changing a huge lot in each session we're working on videos and I can't be thankful enough for Mr. Meatless and Situtif who really helped me editing these videos. Those two really helped me getting ideas, looking over the clips to ensure the quality of each, and so, so much more. So this goes out to the both of you. Speaking of entertainment, let's get now to the bigger part of this announcement, one that I hopefully won't regret making, but first, a bit of background story on it. I've been writing bigger scripts for series or movie ideas, doing loads of skits, small shit posts in private for either the modding team and BeamNG Drive or community side to share silly and really stupid ideas that I get, but never released anything in public. All that started somewhat seven years ago, 2015, when I started writing first sketches, when I filmed an extremely cringe and regrettable three-hour movie of me being a hyperactive kid, and I still hate that thing. But keep it dear to my heart, as it introduced me in the entire amateur movie making and encouraged me to keep going, creating more short films or scripts for future things. I've had that one movie in plan before we moved out of our old flat, yet that never was going to be anything simply by the lack of possibilities. In school we had dramaturgy and we're supposed to write a short story. I forgot that homework, told the teacher though, that I could hand it in in the late evening. She agreed, and what was supposed to be only one page turned into a 12-page script. I've worked on multiple little theater pieces for Latin or English classes, wrote an entire story of 24 pages as my final English project in 10th grade, and at that point many teachers have already encouraged me to follow that exact path to become either an actress, scriptwriter or director. I tried out plenty of these, but I'm horribly shy when it comes to being an actress, when it comes to presenting my scripts to others, or when being in public in general. So I followed another path, another dream, that fulfilled, that I'm really happy with, leaving this one behind. I continued to write though, wrote some scripts for a bigger Destiny 2 show. A Team Fortress 2 show with 8 seasons was basically ready to be animated, which we tried with Life or Fight, but really 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 failed badly and many many more things. I write down three partially completed scripts for movies about territorial war after the entire climate change effects have fully hit earth and to my surprise some of that actually came true though out of other reasons. Most of my scripts have gone lost by switching to another tablet and not backing up what I wrote there, as well as when my hard drive with 2 terabytes of scripts, videos and pictures of my early childhood gave up and died. Sadly, most of it couldn't be restored. A few other scripts were just scrapped, deleted or thrown away, as it was depressing to see that nothing really happened with them. Only a few examples, digital copies or files exist that still hold these old ideas even though I knew nothing would ever happen to my scripts. I kept writing, as it was something that brought me on other thoughts that put me in such a flow that I forgot to drink or eat sometimes. It was and is something incredibly magic to me. All of that was until I met the YouTube channel SMG4. I started watching all of his videos and, I was, and as I was done, went over to Glitch Productions to see a web series called Meta Runner, a show that I absolutely fell in love with. 
Looking at the behind the scenes at the making of this great animation, I realized they have achieved what I urged for seven years for what I had been too shy to finally take into action. I like I like this join. Yeah, so from that we I don't know, we, we were just like, let's go for it. We had no idea what we were doing when we started it. Uh, we had zero experience in animation from... And that made me go for it. In about two weeks, I had an entire web series wrote down. A few weeks later, a second season. That one line initiated the courage, the motivation, to finally step over my own shadow and fulfill a second life dream. To create a web series, to make something out of my work, out of my hobby, to finally share all these story ideas that I have with friends, people, with you. With all that build up, I'm finally happy to announce that I'm launching a fictional production studio and a fully animated web series. I've been gathering a great team of people that are willing to work on this project. I've been thinking a huge lot about the making of this entire thing and we're having a great base to start with. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I hope I don't regret this. To announce it so early in doesn't mean it'll be successful. All of the members work voluntary and in their free time on this, which made it a challenge to plan, to coordinate, but I'm convinced that I kind of got it, that I can handle that. I'll be launching a new channel somewhere in late summer, where we'll upload first animation tests in Blender, a few sceneries or other projects that are meant to be either be a build up to the story of the show or to show improvements of our skills. There, we will most likely animate a bunch of my earlier smaller scripts or goofy shit posts, as well as fully custom ideas that we came up with. My goal with all of this is to build up a real life production studio where I can employ people to work on creative animations, work on bigger projects such as movies or web series, and to fulfill a dream of me. I should say in addition though, that there won't be any bigger updates on this as we're fully working on the web series, so everything that will be an update will perhaps be a teaser, a trailer or a like. First good results should arrive somewhere next year as we all have to learn quite a bit until then. Now the thing is that I will probably finally step over my shadow again once more and upload some of the little shit posts I've done just because, well, uh, Quite a few of my friends like them, enjoyed watching them, so I could upload them to YouTube even though I think they're pretty cringe. But we'll see how that goes, so I think of doing like either a weekly or a daily shitpost upload with just mostly just a voice line or actually video footage that I've worked on. I don't know yet. We'll see how that goes. For now, that's it from me. I really hope that this will work out, that we can interest you in this that I can entertain you with future compilations and that will and that there will be another five years minimum, another 300 videos on YouTube. Until then, I wish you a great time. This is Baitas Diaz, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.